No question about it. Bowden Francis has been a bright spot in a season that didn't have enough bright spots. Certainly putting himself in a great spot for next year. And this will be his final outing of the 2024 season. And there's a breaking ball down and in. And Duran went around. Couldn't check the swing. And Scott Berry, the third base umpire, brings him up. Bowden Francis started the season with a very good curveball and then he introduced the splitter and he brings the curveball back right there for the first strike out of the ball game and a fastball right down the middle for strike three call I tell you what I, I just can't get over how many call strike trees we've seen on fastballs right down the middle where hitters just give up on it thinking about the splitter thinking about the breaking ball and they take a fastball right down over the heart of the plate and it doesn't even seem to bother them. and a high fly ball to left very high fly ball to left finally comes down for Nathan Lucas and it's a three up three down first for Bowden Francis Ryan Bale 14 and 8 449 ERA his final start of the year and a comebacker he will snare that and the underhand flip for a fast out on one pitch Nathan Lucas hitting 313 after the call up without a home run drill to the center field Rafael will race back and he'll make the play right at the edge of the track two up two down. Nothing weak about that contact. Nope. Off day for Guerrero yesterday at the plate. He went 0 for 4. Story from short. And got him. 1, 2, 3, they go. Trevor Story batting against Francis here. We got the Red Sox 1, 2, 3 in the first with a couple of Ks. Hot shot. Fair down the line. That'll keep on rolling. It does not get to the barrier. Almost to the wall. Into second base. Story with a stand up double. Yeah, he was just ready to jump ship first pitch. Went out there and pulled it down the line. Barger making a good effort, but it was by him. And a good start to the second inning for the Sox. Infield in now for the Blue Jays. One out, Vaughn Grissom to the plate for the Red Sox with Story on third. And a fastball has popped up. Davis Schneider is there near the bag out at second to make the catch. Two down. Nice day for Abreu in the Red Sox win yesterday. Two hits, including a double. And a splitter lifted in the air to shallow left. Lucas coming in he'll make the catch and a nice job by Bowden Francis pitching around that lead off double. So here's Addison Barger batting sixth and playing third and he has seen a little bit of Bayo and has had some success against him three for six including a couple of doubles and a walk and that one will get over the head of the third baseman Romy Gonzalez into left a base hit and Barger is strong he fights it off gets jammed a bit hits enough of it to hit it into shallow left field Ernie Clement at the plate for the Blue Jays. In play gently Gonzalez with the charge scoop gets it off and got him one hit one man left in the second inning a very nice hand for Danny Jansen who spent what seven years here in Toronto he's getting a big ovation from the Blue Jay faithful look at Alejandro Kirk applauding uh, joining in on the ovation for Danny Jansen that was pretty cool 2 2 grounded down to third up with it is Barger and Jansen thrown out one down here's Romy Gonzalez with two down Jaron a big lead and a swing and a miss to get him. He strikes out Gonzalez for the second time tonight. And strands another base runner. Strikeout number three overall for Bowden Francis. Even though there's a base open, the last thing that Bayo wants to do is walk Lucas and have to face Guerrero with a couple of men on. Ball four. So it'll be first and second two down for Guerrero. Guerrero drills one to deep left center field. It's going to be off the wall. Loper Fido will score. Lucas is in behind him. A two run double for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladdy once again gets a breaking ball on the inner half of the plate and he hammers this one to the gap in left center. Both base runners were on the move, so Loper Fido will score easily from second and Lucas scores all the way from first. There's a shot driven out to left field. Lucas back, turning around. That is off the wall. Grissom heading for second to throw, and he's going to sprawl in there safely. There was a lot of close right there at first. I thought that was going to get out in that little cutout, a 90 degree by the padding, but just fell short of it. And then Vaughn had to get on his horse and get going. Lead off double here in the fifth from Grissom, and he still remains there with two outs. Going to bring up Sedan Rafaela. And a well hit ball to the opposite field. Springer going to back. Deep right, reaches up, and he's got it. A good running catch by Springer going straight back towards the wall. And that is five scoreless innings for Bowden Francis. Pitch now to George Springer with a runner on first and one out. 
Springer gives it a ride. Deep left center. And off the wall. Schneider is on his way to third. He'll be held there on a double by Springer. That's his 19th double to go along with 19 home runs. And it's Nathan Lucas who has had a lot of quality at bats. And he's thinking about getting something through or over the infield at the very least, trying to get Schneider in from third. To left field, looks like it'll be deep enough. Duran is going to make the catch. Here comes Schneider. And he will come in to score on the sack fly to make it three to nothing. And here's a Blue Jay debut. Easton Lucas, the Blue Jays claimed him several weeks ago off waivers from the Tigers. Left on left, the pitch. Swing and a shallow fly ball center field. Walking to his right and moving in. It's caught by Joey Loperfito to end the inning. Nice Blue Jay debut for Easton Lucas. A one, two, three inning with a pair of flyouts. This is down the right field line. And a fair ball as that winning streak will continue. Kirk trying for second, and he's in there standing up. What a pretty swing by Andrew Kirk. Uh, what a way to extend your hit streak all the way down into the right field corner. The dugout loves nothing more than Alejandro Kirk running the base. <laughs> so after getting the first two here in the seventh, he walks the next two. And now it looks like John Schneider's coming to get him. And there's the call. He wants Ryan Burr to face Danny Jansen. Hot shot deep short bobbled around by Clement everybody's going to be safe he could not make the play and the bases are going to be loaded it's going to bring up say Don Rafaela two outs bases loaded and a line shot base hit in left field Grissom is in the score Abreu right behind him and the Red Sox are in the game it is 3 2 say now with RBI 74 and 75 and a two run single and a one run game. This one has gotten closer after the Red Sox cashed in a couple with two down in the seven. Now have the tying run aboard the eighth. Line shot base hit into center field. Gonzalez rounding easily into third base. And the Red Sox have the tying man 90 feet away and a base hit by Tristan Casas. Swung on and missed. Got him to chase one down and in that cutter for out number one. So now the batter is Masataka Yoshida, a left handed batter. He is hitting just 198 on the season against lefties with an OPS of only 583. And up the middle, knocked down, a run will score. The flip into second to get the force play, and that's what they get. And this game is tied 3 3. Good enough contact up the middle to drive in that run as Romy Gonzalez crosses home plate. Here's Vaughn Grissom. Line shot, base hit over the leaping Clement. Red Sox have hit some bullets in the inning. First and second, and looking to take the lead with two down. Chad Green is into this game in the eighth inning in a tie game. Not exactly how they drew it up under ideal circumstances, but it has not been ideal circumstances the last couple of innings. In the air, left center field, running it down is Lucas. He will make the catch, and the side is retired, but the Red Sox have tied the game. And it is a 3 3 tie going to the top of the nine. Chad Green is back out there. A well hit ball to left center field, but over to make the play is Lucas. And the side is retired. Payoff pitch. Outside, ball four, and that's a big walk from Addison Barger to start the bottom of the nine. Ground ball to third, backhanded nicely, so got down to second one, and another double play. The Red Sox go around the horn, 5 4 3. And a couple of back-breaking double plays. No bunt. Swung on him and struck him out. Martin slams the door there despite the walk. Big double play again. We go to extras. So this will be an intentional pass. First and second with one away. And now they'll go righty-righty against Trevor Story. And a high drive in the left center field. Racing back Lucas still on the run. And that ball's off the wall. Here comes Duran in to score. The Red Sox have taken the lead. Trevor Story launching one off the wall. 4 3 Boston in the 10th. Ground ball to third, trying to send a runner home. Here's the toss. A bad one, and the runner's in. Throw to first. And in time there. Throw back to third, won't get him. And the Red Sox get another one. Gasper coming home. The court talks about this all the time in extra innings as the road team. Got to get two. The Red Sox have done that 5 3. And another one here, and a base hit in the left. That'll bring in another run. The Sox hang it up three in the tenth inning to take a 6-3 lead. That is a huge insurance run right there. Zach Penrod taking over on the hill, trying to lock this one up. To left center field, and that's going to get down. 
Jimenez on his way to second and in there with an RBI double. It is six to four. The Blue Jays aren't done yet. They make quick work of that runner in second base. He moved over on the wild pitch and Jimenez gets to this fastball and drills it. A walk for Lucas. And the Blue Jays bring Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to the plate with a chance to walk it off. A fly ball to right field, but it is playable. And Rafael is going to make the catch for the second out. Ooh, and Jimenez just did get back. And Vladdy is frustrated. And that's the end of that bat. 3 2. Low ball four, and the bases are loaded as Horowitz stays patient to work the wall. Kirk swinging a hot bat. A 16 game hitting streak. He doubled earlier tonight. High ball four, a four pitch walk to Alejandro Kirk. And it's six to five for the Red Sox with two outs in the bottom of the ten. Addison Barger can be a hero here tonight. A man at every base, six five game. The looper back in about Dennis. He's got it, and the Red Sox clinch the win. Red Sox win it six to five in ten innings, and they take the first two. Good job by the Red Sox to pull this one out in extra innings.